A few of the YouTubers that I watch and follow is Ali and Mark and I've noticed they're using similar loading animations in between their chapters and their editors are probably using some paid plugins for them and I thought to myself there should be a way that I can make them or something similar for free inside DaVinci Resolve. So I've tried it recreating it and this is what I've got. I was amazed how easy it is to achieve this loading 2D effect so I decided to make a video about it. So here's how I did it. Honestly, I haven't got into the fusion, so I am doing everything in the edit tab and I'm going to effects and I'm looking for a solid color and I'm leaving it over the main footage. By default, the length of this solid color should be 5 seconds, so you can right click on it, change clip duration and put the amount of seconds or minutes that you wish this duration to last. For this example, I'm putting 8 seconds on mine and when you set up your length, you can highlight this solid color, go to the inspector which is on the right side of DaVinci and we're about to change the color of it. Right now by default it's on black but I'm gonna change it on white since I'm gonna use it as a background for the moment. When you set up your color you want to go to settings which is still in the inspector and you want to go to the corping area and as you're seeing right now I'm corping it until I have a shape looking like this which is looking something similar like a thin line and once again you can do that simply by just corping it from the left side top and bottom. Simply by changing the values of the representative settings. When you finish with corping it you can click on this icon right here and now you can manually move it on the screen wherever you like. In my case I'm gonna leave it on the bottom left corner. And now since this is the background we need to create overlay. So on that solid color I'm holding out and I'm dragging over it. That way I'm creating a duplicate. And now highlighting the new solid color, go to the inspector and change the color to something else. In my case I'm changing it to light pink and when you're finished picking your second color you can press ok to apply. And now as you can see on my timeline when I disable the vision on video slot number 3 you will see the background which is white and when I enable it you will see the overlay color. And then our next goal is to add some text so I'm going to effects library titles and I'm adding a simple text over that solid color. I'm also making the length of that text just the same amount as the solid color. Also type the text that you want to be displayed in the inspector, pick the font and also readjust the size and then you can grab it and reposition it over that line. And now our next goal is to make our pink layer which is the second slot on the solid color to be acting like it's loading or expiring so I'm highlighting it I'm going to inspector settings but before that I forgot to mention that it has to be on the first frame of it then go on the corping section again corping right select the diamond beside it to create a keyframe and then slightly increase the values to corping right so that you can make the second light pink color disappear and when you make sure it's out of the way you can go back on the last frame of that solid color and while it is still highlighted, you can break down the values of that corping right until it reaches the end of the first color. And now when I play it, you can see that it's acting like it's loading or expiring, whatever you want to call it, until it reaches the last keyframe. And so far we accomplished that just by using two solid colors, text and a pair of keyframes. And now to animate this even further, you want to highlight everything, right click and create a new compound clip. Rename it as you wish and then press create. And now you're having everything gathered together and the center point is still in the middle. So if you want to animate the whole thing, it's gonna start from the middle as you can see. So to fix that, I'm just gonna quick remove the corping areas that I'm not gonna be using. I'm gonna corp everything that I don't need and also grab this dot on the middle and leave it in the center so I can animate it better. And right now I'm gonna create some bouncing pop effect just by using three keyframes, going in the beginning of it, shrinking it down to almost invisible, then creating a keyframe and then I'm moving around four or five frames forward and when I do that I can pull that back up making it appear from nowhere then moving 3 frames forward, decreasing the values a little bit of zoom and then 1 frame forward and increasing it with a tiny bit just so you can create that pop effect. I have a dedicated video about this one so I'm not gonna go in details. The thumbnail is looking like this so if you wanna check it out make sure to watch it after this one. So this is what we're having so far. 
a nice simple pop effect on the animation. And this is the first version of the 2D animation, which Mark is using in some of his videos. And now I'm gonna show you the second one. As you can see, I already fast forwarded the part that you already know. With the difference this time that I make it even wider, because this time I'm gonna leave the text inside, like Ali is doing in his videos. Also, he is using an image describing the text. So I have downloaded a house PNG icon and I'm leaving it over the text with the same duration. I'm shrinking it down to make sure it's gonna fit and reposition it in the beginning, which is on the left of the text. And now we're almost done. As you can see, we're having a nice animation so far including a text inside and also a small icon. And if you want to further animate this one, you can also grab everything, create a new compound clip, move that dot from the middle of the screen inside the text, and now once again we're gonna use a solid color, so you want to go back to effects library, search for solid color again and leave it over the timeline. And again while highlighted, go into the corping area in the inspector and corp it down until you get an object looking like this one. A tiny little line which is looking like a scroll which we're gonna make the text appear outside from it. And also it's a personal preferences on what color it should be. In my case I'm gonna make that line red just so it can matches the text. I'm gonna leave it on the left side of that loading bar and make it about the same height. Next thing that I did is that I moved this solid color that I just made in the front. It doesn't really matter under or over that compound clip. I put it under but leaving it over is not a mistake. Now we need to create that solid color to appear from the bottom and afterwards going down again. So while highlighted I'm going in the beginning of it and I'm creating a keyframe using the position Y. Then moving a few frames forward and making it appear on the screen. This is the position when I want to stand, because this is the moment when the text is gonna appear. So I'm highlighting this compound clip, I'm going in the beginning of it, and then I'm increasing the values of corping right until it completely disappears. Then on the right side of that corping right I'm creating a keyframe, pressing the diamond, and then I'm going 4 or 5 frames forward into the timeline, going back to that corping right, and then decrease the values of it until we have a full display of that loading bar. Also, you can get that solid color that you have just made in the beginning using it as a transition to leave it at the end of that compound clip. And this time we're gonna do the opposite of this loading motion. We're gonna corp it the other way, making it go back into that blue line and disappear again. And I did all this just by using solid colors, text and just a few keyframes. There is a probably possibility of making that the same effect in the fusion tab. But I decided to show you that method since I have figured it out. I also recommend you watching this video, I hope you're gonna like it. Thanks for watching this one and see you in the next one.